This is Doom Joker with I Win Quaffle casting from Why So Serious Starcraft. We have a one on one, ver it is Sad Cow Go Moo. He is a Master Protest player versus HNN, Master Level Terran player. Yes, and as uh, we can see from Sad Cow's Go Moo name, that is a literal name because Sad Cows actually do Go Moo. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you know when a cow is sad? Um. That's a great question. I am not a farmer. <laughs> I come from the suburbs, so, but I do hear cows by the farms near at night. Oh uh, yeah. When do they sound outside. sad? Yeah, sometimes they do. They're just uh. They're, they're just mooing away. Yes. All sad like. Even though they're with all their friends, maybe they like to, maybe they miss their alone time. Yeah, maybe they want to just explore the world. You know, yeah. but they're all they're all cooped up. Yeah. Anyways, H and N. What do you think that stands for? Um, let's High see. High net worth. Net worth. No. Um, sense. Hellions never. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this one. I'll think of something by the mid game, and I'll come up with it, and you'll be like, "That's it." I just need you to just belt it out whenever you think of something good, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'll be thinking of that the whole time. I won't be watching the game. I'm just writing down ideas. It looks like HNN is going to be going for a normal time barracks and then a normal time gas. Awesome. These are really long distance in this match. This is. I like this map though. I really do. Oh yeah, I love this map as well. It's uh. It can be tough for Terran sometimes to make an early timing push since the uh, rally is so far away. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, abuse you can do with tanks on the low ground and siege up the Protoss is natural. Absolutely. Also, for the Protoss, getting those Colossi out on those cliff walks, they can cliff walk up into this natural all day. It's it's tough. Oh, yeah, definitely. So there's both players could do uh, um, easy abuse, mm -hmm. which will make for uh, fun casting. Yep, I love the abuse, which sounds weird. That probably came out wrong, but the uh, <laughs> I love drop ships and just little little harass here and there. Me too, Joker. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I love the abuse. Everyone's like, "All right, this guy's crazy. I'm getting off this site." <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the Protoss side, he does have a uh, Chrono Boost saved up, and he only has one gas. This could mean a few things. He could be going for a fast expand, or he could be trying to do a four gate. Um, he is going to chrono boost his uh, warp gate out, so there is a possibility that he's going to do the full warp gate. Ooh, the four. Joker, come back. This barracks. Oh, why is that happening to me? He is throwing down a reactor on his barracks, and he's throwing down a factory as well. Oh, nice. So we're going to be seeing tech from HNN. Possibly a Hellion opening? Yeah, yeah, I would say. It could be could be a Hellion opening, op opening, which is very strong against Zerg. I don't know how effective it is versus Protoss. I don't play a lot of Protoss. Um, it, could be, it could be effective if you don't get any stalkers out, for sure. Yeah, it's a... Uh... There's, it's going to be really hard for our Protoss player, Sad Cows Go Moo, to protect his pros at, in this map because the ramp is so large. So uh, it could do a lot of damage. Otherwise, he could do drop. He could do uh, maybe a Blue Flame Hellion drop. Yeah, absolutely. We do have two Hellions coming out, and look at this. We have a hidden starport. Oh, very cool. I'm not sure why it's all the way over there. Maybe he's going to... Uh, elevate the his Hellions up. He is moving his Marines over. So I'm going to guess that he's going to make a medevac out of that. Oh. And, uh, elevate his troops up. Ooh, Sad Cow does spot the Hellions and the Marines. And he's going to lose a pylon unless he cancels it. Cancel. He is not gonna Keeps cancel. it up, which is interesting. Oh, he did get one more warp in, though. Oh, yeah, that was a oh. huge warp, and this is going to mess up all the planes from HNN. Does a great job by Sad Cows. Oh, and if HNN would have only focused that pylon while they were warping in, those warp ins would have been gone. He would have wasted that warp. Yeah. 
Oh, man, that would have been awesome. There is a bunch of stalkers marching right to HNN's base. HNN doesn't have anything to defend this, really. And as a StarCraft player, this is really this is a really tough position for HNN because his whole, you know, his whole build order is now screwed up because he can't get that lift off what he wanted to do, which would have been a great lift. Uh, I think it would have done a lot of damage and flustered said cows. And now HNN is forced to pull, pull SCVs to prevent the stalkers. <sighs> My to gosh, and he's going to lose possibly all of them. Yeah, he is going to hold this. Actually, no, those said cows is doing a great job of microing. He's going to kill all these SCVs. With, oh, he does get a strong on one stalker. With, but yeah, there's just too many SCVs lost. It's yeah. there's no. I don't think there's any way HNN can come back from this. He's he's already got his expansion going down right now. Um, yeah, it's he's actually also have a dark shrine on the way. Oh yeah, and that's just going to be the nail in the coffin. Yeah, he absolutely. also has got a, an expansion going. He's got some probes going. He's not producing probes, but. Doesn't really matter at this point. He's got such a high probe lead. Oh, absolutely. I would have liked to see that um, that medevac play though with those hellions. I, I think you were absolutely right. They were going to lift him up into the yeah, into the base. Probably. We do have cloak researching at the starport for H and N. Interesting. So if he manages to get a banshee out and kill a whole bunch of probes, he could be back in this game. That would be awesome, because Sad Cow has n absolutely no detection. No way of getting any detection soon. Yeah, this could actually force Sad Cow to maybe even GG out of uh, frustration, possibly. That would be awesome, because that would be such an awesome comeback. But we do see DTs. They're not... Oh, they are... On, no, they're not on the map yet. But H uh, oh. and N does spot the DT shrine. The shrine. Nice. So, but he also loses all his Hellions, which was basically his entire army. So ooh, he could be in a lot of trouble here. Yep. Two more gateways going down for Sad Cow, but we do have that Banshee. Is is it out? Does he have one out? Yes, he does. He does have a Banshee out, and it's just kind of chilling there. Oh my Three gosh. Three DTs are marching their way up into HNN, HNN's base. He does have yeah. a good bunker. He could be able to take out these DTs if he notices them, but they're... Oh! oh. He, just, he almost walled it off, but the DTs just sliced that guy in half. Yeah. Oh my god, he almost got the wall off. He needs to throw down a scan to kill these things. Those things are going to do so much damage. He has one scan, but the problem is he only has four Marines. Oh, yeah. He can't even kill the DT fast enough. Yep, and this is going to be... hes not, He has those Banshees, but they're not doing anything. He's going to lose There's no so engineering much. bay. No. I like, though, H&N put on some really nice good pressure. I really think one of the turning points was I, I think H&N needed to kill that pylon on that warp, and he could have held that off, potentially, if he killed that pylon. It was so close to dying, too. Yeah. And we do see H&N uh, kind of flying away. Not that they're going to be able to do anything. I don't, you know, I don't really like it when players do this because, I mean, how many times have you seen a player this far down fly all their stuff to a island or to another base and win? Never. You just don't see that. Well, he does have two cloaked banshees, so if he prevents uh, sad cows from getting any type of uh, detection up. He could force a stalemate. Ooh, that would be cool. Too bad. I mean, that could be. Yeah. Looks like uh, Mad Cow is moving all his SCV or his probes to probably where H and N was about to land. Oh, and Sad Cow's is throwing up a proxy stargate. Not really a proxy stargate, just a stargate that can't be detected. He actually and a robotics facility, um, kind of in the top corner. Mm -hmm. So he will be able to get detection uh, without these Banshees killing it. And well, Banshees are doing a lot of work, though. Except right now they're focusing down assimilators, which I don't think is a good idea. And now we got another Banshee coming up in the main. So he has three Banshees on the battlefield that are doing nice work. Mm -hmm. 
The problem is he really needs to be looking for any type of detection scouters from these <laughs> Banshees. And he's actually going to lose both these Banshees right now. Uh, Cloak is going to run out in about two seconds here, and Seghouse is going to notice it and win the game. Oh, he gets, the, he gets him out. He gets him out. Mm -hmm. But we do have the Robo Bay. We're going to see an Observer once he gets... Oh, maybe that's what he was doing with those. He was killing off the gas, so he can't get an Observer out. Oh, you're right. He doesn't have enough gas to get an Oh, my observer. God. We were tricked. This could be good. Oh, oh he's that... going to lose a Banshee, though. Those stalkers chased it down. Oh, he saves it. What the heck? <laughs> Oh, he but here comes the, uh, the observer right now. And all he does, all he needs to do now is just get enough gas out to get a, a phoenix. And this should be an easy game. GG. Oh, and he GG's out of it.